What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out Fast Forward by Somi. Now, apparently, the last time I reacted to her with any more, that was her last comeback. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like it's been a minute. Obviously, the channel looked completely different back when I reacted to that song, and I started my channel in September of 21. That reaction was in December of 21. So now, fast forward to 2023. Uh, we have Somi coming back with Fast Forward. I'm really, really excited to check it out because actually after doing those reactions uh, last year, I actually reacted to Twice as 16 where Somi obviously appeared. So to get to know her a little bit better and where she came from and to see her as a performer and uh, to see her evolution was actually really, really cool too. So I'm feeling extra happy to see her finally come back back so without further ado let's get into this reaction is that actually 4k okay now it is oh that's what that was probably a fan coming up to her asking uh when's your next comeback and uh that's what she did then kidding <laughs> it's funny that the window says always oh, open now it's literally open oh i love that motorcycle She looks heavenly. A literal goddess, holy shit. I love how the men are glitchy. It's a glitch in the system. <laughs> Fast forward. Whoa. The way she enters that, it reminds me of like those... Uh, do you remember back in like my high school days or even before there was like this tectonic dancing? That, that, that thing that she did in the very beginning that felt like one of those intros to those dances. This is... This is a... Super awesome club song, bam. Fast forward. Which, if she's supposed to be like a high school girl in, in that visual, it actually makes sense. That's literally tectonic dancing. That's super cool. Oh my god, that's... Because she knows Taekwondo. That's dope. That was a flashback for me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This is so nostalgic. Oh my god, this is so cool. Whoa. If this song doesn't play in every single fucking club, something's wrong with the world. Oh, oh, oh that's so cool. This is like a glow up song, right? Wait, it's over? What the f- That was way too short. Is that her? Looking at herself? Yeah. 
Why am I getting Gwen Stefani vibes from her visual now? Uh, anyway, I'm trying to remember XOXO and Anymore. And even though I love the storytelling and Anymore, this is definitely my favorite song. Um, like, it was so much fun. And, like, the inclusion of, like, the tectonic dancing, it was so nostalgic. I love the visuals here. I love her speeding up on that bike, but it's actually almost, like, a stationary bike. And it felt... Like, in a way, like a glow-up song, like, the people that made fun of me or the guys that I encountered in order to find the one, but in reality, all alone, I, I was like this goddess. She literally has, like, diamonds sticking out of her outfit, looking godly, basically, with the super, like, Greek, like, this horse she was a literal goddess in that visual and like her dancing it was so incredible i love the inclusion of her martial arts background as she's like this student who's now become the master and fast forward now she's this badass uh but she started literally from the very bottom and it was almost like kind of like defending herself learning self-defense in a way uh but also to her personal life adding that uh martial arts uh scene was also really really cool i believe that she was into taekwondo and like her bit for jyp in 16 what was was something with taekwondo which jyp actually praised a lot because like the whole theme of the mission was to show yourself who you really are where some of the girls took it the wrong way and they thought that i need to show what jyp wants to see not what i am regardless of if he wants to see it or not so her personality and everything really really shined and there was like an inclusion of her dad as well and there was a lot of stuff that she touched on from her childhood actually like be i think that she was bullied or something like that and like people weren't very nice to her growing up in terms of like her parents and everything um so that was really really heartbreaking and to see this it's almost like one of the best glow ups you will ever see and flash fast forward i guess she is an amazing name in the industry uh she has so much charisma her presence is absolutely insane and like this song is just such a, a beautiful mix of like something retro something nostalgic and something new uh the choreography was awesome it was truly awesome and I, I i love like the background it almost looks like flashing lights basically speeding to emphasize the fact that she is no not necessarily that she's no longer that girl but she's she's different like she's much stronger she's not letting those things bother her uh bother her anymore uh, it was really really awesome like the song felt incredibly short that's the only thing I want. I, I want the song to go for a few minutes longer, actually. One of the most symbolic shots from this was this one, because she's literally in a giant puddle, which represents her like sinking and still using those um, those wheels to balancing wheels or whatever it's called in English. I, I'm forgetting, but uh, English is, is not my first language. I'm sorry. But and her then trying to escape this world and like paddling uh pedaling as hard as she can to fast forward where she's still stuck in place because she got those wheels to help her balance uh where in reality everything is going out of balance in her in her life um i thought that it, was, it was really 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 symbolic and the different outfits uh her being in in the snow learning martial arts and all and her in that black outfit with the dancers who did a phenomenal job as well i may add um it was beautiful it was absolutely incredible and uh it it, it feels like in a way i'm actually like f some of the scenes especially in like this nightclub with the with the bangs and like the the leather jacket i'm actually getting some miley cyrus vibes for some reason um but as she's talking about the heartbreaks and all that kind of stuff as she's like out of it every single guy that she sees there's like this glitch effect on him almost like he is a glitch in her matrix uh which i thought was really really cool so no one is going to fix you unless you fix yourself 
um, and like the shots of her being like a literal goddess with the feathers and the diamonds and like literally just being a light that is shining brighter than anything else and like the horse and everything was so freaking cool and like the, the song just in general as she is now on like this incredible looking motorcycle like holy shit it's awesome uh, in the beginning that motorcycle was actually a bicycle with balancing wheels so she went from that to fast forward now she's like she stands up for herself like the guy who came up to her she threw his ass through the window i i feel like the the message is just be the you that you've always needed not look for someone to complete you and uh you know unfortunately you need to go you need to go through some shit through heartbreaks and you know struggle and all of that kind of stuff in order to fast forward and finally become the version of you that you always needed to be so i thought that this was absolutely fucking awesome i really really enjoyed the song and it's actually one of the most fun songs that i think i heard and the fact that back to back to back so far today i've reacted to songs that are super positive super chill and then this one it feels like a song that is going to go crazy at all kinds of clubs this song would be dope for something like coachella to be honest too it would be it would be incredible whatever if she does any live performances or live appearances or anything like that in like an open area like coachella or whatever it would be absolutely incredible i feel like uh, this song absolutely slaps and Sony looks phenomenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If I made any sense, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.